This video will show you the assembly and operation procedures for your Champion 52cc Earth Auger. Follow along in your operator's manual. First, open the box and remove all parts. Then, begin by assembling the fishtail point to the auger bit and tighten it with an adjustable wrench until it's secure. Insert the power head output shaft into the auger shaft. Then insert and secure the clevis pin. Always make sure all parts are tightened and secure before each use. Before digging, contact your local utility company to locate any underground utilities. Always follow safety precautions when handling your auger, including proper clothing, hearing, and eye protection. This model requires 50 to 1 two-cycle mix. Pre-mix your fuel in an approved fuel container, then add the fuel mix to the fuel tank. Place the right handlebar on the ground with the throttle in an up position and move the power switch to on. Set the choke lever to the choke position and press the primer bulb 7 to 10 times. While standing on the operator side of the auger, place your foot on the handlebar to stabilize the unit. Grip the other handlebar with the other hand and tilt the auger so that the auger bit is off the ground. Holding the unit firmly, pull the recoil handle two times to prime with fuel, then pull until the engine starts. Once the engine starts, stand the auger up in a vertical position and allow it to run for 10 to 15 seconds, and then move the choke lever to the run position. Now let's dig. Always maintain solid footing and a firm grip, and make sure the exhaust is facing away from your body. To start digging, engage the throttle and begin slowly, gradually increasing speed as the bit penetrates the soil. To keep the bit from getting jammed in the hole, occasionally lift the auger partially out of the hole to disperse any loose soil. Depending on the density of your soil, you might need to either hold up or press down on the handle to keep the auger from burying itself. When working in an area with rocks and roots, operate your auger at a slower speed to reduce kickback. If you hit a rock or a tree root, Stop your auger, dig up the rock by hand, and then continue digging. To stop the auger, release the throttle and allow the engine to idle briefly before moving the switch to off. Store your auger in a safe, dry location and be sure to consult your operator's manual for important tips about maintenance, safety, and troubleshooting. And for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.